Hello and welcome to the first part of this three-part series just to show you how to create this effect that we've done I uh, just want to show you that it's on one layer it's one text layer and if I hit the zero key to RAM preview you'll see that it's all on one layer the other bits and pieces is just background and it's not perfect and we're just going to make it perfect in this tutorial so using and customizing the dictionary preset we're going to start off by using the dictionary preset and then we're going to work out how to make the background fade away and then the third one is going to be moving the words to the right place all on one layer so if I stop that and I open up the layer you'll see that I've got a whole series of bits and pieces I've got included words which is actually the dictionary preset and we'll explain how we use that and why we use that in a while then we've got the text exclusion which allows us to fade the background out and blur it out and then we've got the individual words that we are choosing to use and how we can then move them into place so the first part of this tutorial is going to look at the including words which is actually the dictionary preset and also talk about a few of the limitations and why we need to add these other bits and pieces so I'm going to actually turn that layer off entirely and I'm going to create a new text layer but in a minute let me just show you the text I want to use here is the text I've been playing around with it since I did the original one and this is what we want to say but really what we've done is we've hidden our message inside the text and these are the words that we want to use and notice that I have gone on and added each of the words I want inside what we call in the UK speech marks these double points then the words double points speech marks and then a comma so they're separated by comma and the words that we want to use are inside what we call speech marks and so I've pulled them all out separately so they're easy to copy and paste so this is the paragraph that we're going to use and so I'm just going to select the paragraph and copy it control C command C on a Mac and I'm going to go to After Effects and I'm going to create a new text area by taking the text tool and just clicking and dragging to define an area in which the text is going to go and then I can paste it so control V command V on a Mac and there we go there's the text It's a pretty lousy color so I'm just going to double click the layer to select all the text and I'm going to make sure that the fill is white and actually also I'm going to make sure that it's left justified there you go so it looks more like an actual paragraph and of course if you want to make it look like it's part of a page or part of a book you can play around with those bits and pieces but now we need to select the words now we actually need to use this dictionary preset and I'm going to show you here is the dictionary preset it's in bridge if you need to browse your presets by the way you go to the effects and presets panel and you can get the little panel menu here and go to browse presets so that'll bring forward bridge and you it'll bring forward presets and you just double click in text double click in expressions and other expressions apart from obviously this one if you click on them you get a little display of what it's actually doing whereas if you single click on dictionary you don't see anything but you get an idea of what it might do from this little picture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the dictionary preset from the effects and presets panel by opening up animation presets going down to text opening up the text category and then opening up the expressions category looking for dictionary there it is clicking and dragging and dropping it on the text layer and instantly some words start to go red so we know something's going on inside now the quick way to look at the expression would be to select the layer and hit EE -E, but I'm just going to show you how we would twirl it down so I'm going to twirl down the layer twirl down text twirl down animator 1 and then open up expression selector and open up a mount and there is an expression and this is how we can actually have a look at it you click in the timeline you get this little double arrow up and down click and drag and pull it down and you can see the whole expression now I'm not a genius I can't explain expressions to you but what I can see is this section here that says word a dictionary open square brackets and then we've got speech marks and words inside the speech marks separated by commas so what we can do is replace the words in here for the words that we have selected in, our, in and from our text document so I'm just going to select those and do a copy again control C command C on a Mac and I'm going to select the expression just click in here and make sure I select those speech marks and words inside that square brackets and just paste our selection and then when I either hit enter on the number pad or accept by just clicking away you'll suddenly see that look the words we wanted are selected however I've got too many I've got and 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 I've got the and the so I want to make a change so what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of say this say this the 
let's just go back to our original text so let's go back to the text document and have a little look so we've got two ands and we've got two thes that we want to get rid of so let's just say such an unusual way pretty much relegated his dictionary to nothing more than a doorstop covered in dust we can get rid of the and in there covered in dust preset so covered in dust preset to cause we've got another the in there that we don't want so we can cause to cause a casual user so you can perhaps choose that to change it to the a so so nothing more than doorstop covered in dust preset to cause a casual user so we've got rid of the extra the and we've got rid of the extra and so I can just simply select that text and copy it again go back to my text layer double click to select it all and paste and you'll see that because the expression is already applied it's simply got rid of the extras and so now I've only got exactly the words I want to use now I can just twirl that up don't need to see the expression again and you can see that this is the fill color so I can obviously animate this fill color so I can for instance select this and say take it all to white and then after a few seconds say I want to leave it at white for two seconds click the stopwatch after fill color and then go forward a few seconds say four seconds and then change the color to say uh, a sort of a yellowy green something like that so let's make it quite bright so you can see so there you go we've got the color animating from white to green so the selected words only because of the expression and we have an add button so for instance we can add properties such as scale and or position now the problem is if I was to click on scale and say take it to 120 percent enter it's going to affect just those words or if I take it to 80 percent great it's just going to affect those words but the problem is if I was to choose say opacity as another particular uh, property to add what I would be doing is I would just be affecting opacity on the selected words and I want to do the exact opposite I actually want to turn off all the other words and just have these words remaining that I can then move into place so I'm actually going to have to create an exclusion group the advantage of this dictionary preset is that I can select all the words that I want to select and I can scale them and I can move them and I can do all kinds of things that can be added from this property list so I can change tracking and stroke and I can add fill colors and all the other bits and pieces I can even enable 3d characters but I can't change them individually unless I do more work so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an exclusion group to go with this the reason we're still using the inclusion group this this group here animator one which I'm going to actually rename by hitting enter and calling it my include group so it's the included text group the reason that we're using this is that I can affect all of these together so I can scale them all together I can change their color all together without having to move through individual sections I can do it all in one group so in the next tutorial we'll look at doing our exclusion group my name's Andrew Davis and I hope you're finding this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching.